Hi, what we're going to demonstrate today is Vulcan's 460 AP, which stands for All Position. It's a general maintenance mild steel electrode designed for maintenance and repair. It's a high tensile mild steel. First thing I'm going to do is just give you a general bead appearance of the product and how easy it is to, uh, to weld with. Here we go. Watch your eyes. Okay, obviously we see that it welds. We have about 95,000 PSI on mild steel. That's a little bit on the hot side. I'll turn this down a little bit. Now what I'm gonna demonstrate is, if you have to tack something, such as screens or, or sheet metal, and it's good for tacking when you're out in the field. Here we go, we're gonna show you how to tack with it. It has instant restrike. Watch your eyes. So you see how easy that would be to tack uh, like on uh, galvanized fence posts and things like that. That's a tack. Now what we're going to demonstrate is the vertical ability of this product. What we're going to do is do the vertical down with this product. A lot of times you might be up in an area where um, you can't see everything, you can't reach, you're trying to tack uh, or weld something that's behind a post or whatever. If you can get this rod close to it, it will weld out of position and it will hold it for you. Here we go. Watch your eyes. I'm just going to hold this in a vertical just like this and I'm not going to move the rod. Okay, watch your eyes. Oh, I got to see it. All right, now I'm not even looking at what I'm doing. If you look at me, I'm just watching, letting the rod do, do the work for me. Just because I'm in a blind spot, I can't see what it's doing. It's just going downhill up where I can't see. There we go. Now we've designed this rod to have the travel, the burn rate of the rod is perfect for a travel rate for a vertical well. So all you gotta do is get it, hold it there and let it do its thing for you. We'll let that cool down. And I want, uh, if you can get a look at this uh, deposit, it's pretty nice, huh? We're just holding it there. On the 460 AP, one of the other features is it has a broad range of amperage. So if you're doing sheet, if you come across some sheet metal and then all of a sudden you want to weld some heavier stuff, you can do that because we can run it down to 40 amps and all the way up to 150. So what I'll demonstrate is I'll go down to about 40 amps. Here we go. So say I was used doing sheet metal, thin stuff. Come on, buddy. There we go. That's 40 amps on a 1.8. A great tool for a maintenance guy when he's got a weld, whatever, mild steel, sheet metal, galvanized, perfect. Sometimes in a plant you run into problems where pipes have leaked and you got a lot of water. And trust me, um, water and electricity doesn't mix, so be very careful. However, what we're going to demonstrate here is that you can weld underwater to maybe stop a leak in an emergency in a plant. And what I've got here is I've got a paint pan and I've got it weighted down. And I'm going to put this piece of steel right here to hold my example down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover that up with water. Here we go. Now all we're doing is simulating that um, we've got a real serious problem and of course uh, we got to weld with a lot of moisture. A lot of moisture. This is extreme. Okay, here we go. Watch your eyes. There we go. Now, 
like I say, this is extreme, but what you're going to see is we're going to have a very clean weld with no pinholes, no hydrogen bubbles from the water, and sometimes, in an extreme case, this will get you out of trouble. I'll bring this piece up here. I'll put it in the vise, and I'll clean it up so you can take a look at the deposit that was done under the water. Well, I'm not very good. I couldn't see what I was doing, but at least I could have stopped a leak. If you can see that deposit there. And there you go.